hello guys yes once again welcome to my channel AE Ghana today we are going to look at 2001 Toyota Corolla which was running rich at idle yes running rich at idle was very bad it's okay when you are cruising it's okay when you are riding but it only ran rich when you are idle before I start this car was not like that it was running okay was running fine a couple of weeks ago which I noticed that checking with my OBD and so that the car was running rich at idle was hurting my full economy bad gas mileage running to the gas station every time now and then but it's good that I found a solution again I want to share with everyone I want to share with my followers how you can solve a rich idle car running and before I go on uh, I want to go through some few few symptoms that and all causes that cause your car to run rich at idle yes where you check with the four trims you see it's negatives it's in negative the short term will be in negatives the long term will be in negative it means your car is running rich at idle that is where it's above 10 10 percent 10 percent so when you see you check with your OBD and you see your four trims, the short term, the long term, running above tens. Where you see even the 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 long term four trim more than ten negative, then you mean there's a problem, and you are running rich. And the rich at idle is only corrected when you give the the car a gas or when you are cruising, when you are riding. You see, if you see the four trims going down with the short term and the long term going down in single numbers then your car is running which only at idle but in all car riding circumstances in all car riding uh, process or uh, reasons if you see the long term forward trend and short term running in negatives all the time then your car is running rich at all car riding conditions but this moment this car was running only rich at idle and as you can see from the overlay uh, picture I've shown with the OBD, the short term forward trim was negative 7, the long term forward trim was negative 0.7. You see, so in addition, when you add this, we are looking about about 18.7 forward trims. Yes, that's bad, and that should, shouldn't be it. That's a problem, you need to take care of it, otherwise, your gas mileage is going to be hurt. You have carbon valves being your valves being carbonated because the, the engine is running so rich. It will also affect your engine oil because when you are running rich all the time, some of the fuel is going to seep inside your combustion and it's going to seep inside your oil sump and it's going to render your engine or you're not protecting your engine parts so very well. So running rich at idle is as bad as running lean yes so before as i said earlier we are going to look at the symptoms or the causes of running rich in all condition and after all conditions i'm going to show you the things that make a car run rich at idle and i'll give you my thoughts or the causes that was causing my car to run rich at idle which is solved now okay folks so let's go on so the first thing that will make your car run rich is the fit in the oxygen sensor when you have a defect in your oxygen sensor, it's going to cause your car to run rich in all car condition or running rich at idle. Because when your engine oxygen sensor is reading above 7, above 9, negative, it means you are running rich. Sometimes it's because there's a defective wiring in the oxygen sensor. Or sometimes your wiring is touching one of the chassis of your engine. Which is causing the signal to give to the feedback to the ECM or the PCM that your car is running rich. So you have to take care of it. So what I would say is most of the times check the oxygen sensor. Check it well. Physically check them. If it's in good condition, check the wiring. Uh, hold it and make sure it's not chaffed. Animals have not bitten it. It's okay. It's in good condition. Then you know the oxygen sensor is not bad. And also you can check for trouble codes when you check with your OBD if it's related to any oxygen sensor code then you may have a fault with the oxygen sensor causing you to run rich yes 
and the second thing that we will see is a 40 ECM or PCM and this is this is this is very rare it doesn't much happen like that that a PCM will cause a car to run rich but it's it, it's, it's possible for a PCM or the control board of the car to run make the car to run rich that's where uh, in respect of every, every problem that you have tried to solve you still your car is running rich in all conditions yes in all conditions you see your car will be running rich yes so let's look at the next one that's defective mass airflow sensor and the ECM you look at the, this uh, the mass airflow sensor readings to balance or give reading to the fuel trims so if your mass airflow reading is off it's going to cause the car also to run rich in opposite opposite if the car mass airflow also is bad it's going to cause your car to run in so in this case you have to check physically your mass airflow sensor if it's doing well you check the wiring if possibly you can pull the mass airflow sensor from your car and use a mass airflow sensor to clean the contacts don't touch them use the mass airflow sensor to to clean to blow to spray the contacts of the mass airflow sensor put it back check the wiring start the car and check the obd readings again for the fuel trims if it's if, if it's that a fault then you are good to go if it's not a fault then that's a problem that you need to the, look to the next problem that's causing your car to run rich the next one is a dirty or clogged airflow airflow or dirty or clogged air filter yes and i'm going to show you the show you the air filter uh in a moment yes i'm going to show you the air filter in a moment a dirty or clogged air filter will cause a car to run rich all the time or cause a car to run rich only in idle that was my fault that was my problem my car was running rich only at idle and this is the problem uh i have a dirty or clogged Air, air filter but i thought it was okay i thought it was okay yes yeah, because i blowed i blowed it in i blowed it in and i felt like oh it's fine it can make the car run it was not causing problems so i overlooked it and i was looking at leaking injectors looking at a bad coil or looking at a bad spark plugs but that was not not my fault that was not my problem my problem was a, a, a clogged air filter and folks when you are troubleshooting a car problem go the basic way don't worry yourself chasing the higher ones go the basic way if i have went that way checking the basic things i would have solved this problem early 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 without hustling and bustling myself with anything yes so my problem was a clog air filter i want to run through the problem before we go and see the air filter for myself and i've got a new one you will see the difference between the new one and the old one that was in the car okay so the last two that we'll be looking at that cause an engine running rich is a leaking injector if your fuel injector is leaking it will cause your car to run rich in all condition in idle yes the reason why it, do, it does that that when the car is idle because you're not giving any gas to there you're not giving any acceleration the leaking injector will be spraying more fuel into the combustion chamber which is causing uh rich condition and as i said with a clogged or bad air filter because the car need a uh, any spark any compression it need fuel to make the car start and run if the car is not getting enough air it's going to run rich because the coolant is working the ecm is working the compression is okay the sparks is okay the injectors are okay but because the car is not getting enough air because of the reading it's getting from the math sensor the ecm or the pcm is going to give equal fuel due to the what the mass is reporting so if the mass is reporting less air and the fuel trim or the coolant temperature is reporting a different reading it's going to cause your car to run which and that was my problem and because it's run okay or the fuel trims are okay in cruising is where because when you give it gas that time the car can pull much air inside the car so it helped the car to run okay but when you are at idle the car is not running or chasing or pushing so it cannot get enough air to balance the fuel combustion so that's why it's running rich at idle only the last one we are going to look at is the damaged coolant sensor
yes a damaged coolant sensor will cause a car to run rich because when the car is started at first it's cold so it's going to give this signal to the ecm that it should give more fuel to the car so that it brings it up to temperature so that the car can ride ride in an optimum but when you have a defective coolant temperature sensor it's going to give constant signal to the ecm that the car is cold the car is cold and it will be running rich so you must also check your coolant temperature sensor to see that it's working it's good condition and everything is working you can also use the obd to check and that will be a different content that i will do how to check your coolant temperature sensor if it's working fine now guys let's go and look at how the cool the air filter was dirty as compared to the new one I the new yes, let's go and look at this from toyota that's the parts number as you can see element assembly it's a new one and guys see this was mine and honestly if you see it's physically you wouldn't give it a, a, a thumbs down that it's not working or it's it's totally dirty you wouldn't see but guys this was my problem this was was what is giving me headache yes so guys if you know you have a dirty air filter you have you have used this every time more than 60,000 miles and you are facing this problem I, rec I recommend that you change it yes you change it don't worry yourself blowing in the air and trying to clean it that's what, what I, I was doing earlier I was blowing air trying to clean it so that I can fix it uh, but it was that was my problem that was my problem I'm going to give you a trick how I, I detected that it was there clog air filter causing my problem i'll give you that trick later in the video so don't worry so you see this is the new air filter and i'm going to remove it and you see the difference is like a night and day so much different guys so much difference so much difference so much difference now guys see this is my old air filter and that's the new air filter and guys the difference is night and day there is so much difference you can see for yourself and that was my problem because i thought like oh mine was not dirty so much that would cause my car to run rich at idle but that was my problem yes that's it so i'm going to replace this one of course i've checked it and know that it's the air filter I'm going to replace this one and I'll be good to go and I'll be fine my car will be running at optimum again and guys you can't joke with a car running rich or lean lean will help your gas mileage because lean is going to not push much fuel into the injectors but it will cause problem for your car as well so it's going to cause problem for your car but rich condition it's going to cause many problems for your car because it's not good for your engine oil it's not good for your valves it's not good for your gas mileage so guys now let me tell you the trick how i detected it was my clog air filter so when you know you have a rich running engine first i will use this one for rich running engine in all driving condition and rich running engine in idle the reason why i got to know my and solve it was I did this trick I removed the air filter from the engine you see this is 2001 Toyota Cola once again for you to see that one ZZ FE engine VVT yes 1.8 petrol yeah so as you can see this is the compartment for the air filter so what I did to solve this is I removed the air filter from it so as you can see that it's empty there's no air filter in it I removed the air filter I reset the fuel trim I reset it by removing the negative battery for some minutes and the car uh, PCM or ECM or control board erase every lane information and I drove the car from work to home the moment I start driving the car I felt that the fuel trims were okay I was seeing negative 3 negative 2 negative 5 which is okay because the rule of thumb is your fuel trim short term long term should be within 10 you get it so if your plus 
if your short term forward trim and your long term forward trim is within 10 you are good to go the engine is in good health so i drove the car from work to the house and i checked my forward trim again guys you can see from the overlay picture i've shared the forward trim is now negative three instead of the negative 13 and negative seven that we were seeing earlier the forward trim is now negative three and that is a very 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 good forward trim reading for a good and healthy engine yes so now i got to know okay so the car was lacking much air into the combustion chamber it was not getting air it was suffocating so when the car suffocates it cannot get enough air and it will be running rich because what the mouth is mouth sensor is reading is less than what the coolant is reporting so guys when you are challenged with any car problem go the basic way don't worry yourself doing the hard things spending much buying parts trying to solve it your way no take it cool do the basic things and it will solve your problem so all these weeks all this month i was chasing for this running rich at idle necessarily it was just the clogged air filter and that was my problem so guys so you see the the trick a simple trick is if you know you are having a rich running car condition go to the basics so one trick that you can do is remove the air filter from your engine put it inside your car let your car have a free running air to the combustion chamber it just for a while doesn't mean you are going to drive 500 miles 800 miles 300 miles just some few miles at least 30 or 40 miles will tell you that this was a problem you see so remove the cloth air filter and run the car make sure you delete the full land forward trims or remove the negative battery for the forward trims to be deleted now run the car after you get to your destination check the forward trims again if the forward trims are within tens or are within fives then you know that that was your problem that was your problem i'll use this opportunity to show you some few compartments where these sensors are that can cause uh, a rich running a, a rich running engine so this one can cause as the coils the spark plug inside this is the l intake when the air is not getting enough, it can cause engine to run rich. And one thing I need to tell you, I didn't mention in earlier videos, the purge valve solenoid, as you can see from here, the purge valve solenoid, trust you see it well, the purge valve solenoid, it can cause the car to run rich as well. This is how the purge valve solenoid causes the car to run rich. So the purge valve solenoid is attached to the vapor canister of the engine where the fuel pump is or the fuel tank is. How it's run or how it's operated is when you are running the car, the ECM will command it to open some vapor from the fuel tank into the engine. So the problem is when it's defective, it always purging the combustion chamber with fuel and that will cause your car to run rich. There is a way to check it easily. There is a way to check it easily how the health is. I'm going to do that content earlier and I will show you how to check how the patch, the patch valve solenoid can make a car run rich. So that can also cause the car to run rich. And that was not my problem. My problem was, as I said earlier, was the clogged air filter of my engine. So guys, uh, as I bring this video to an end, when you are tackled with any car operating problem, don't worry yourself going around buying parts get a basic obd check this forward trims check what the what the obd is saying with regarding the figures and you take it step by step you take it step by step don't rush if you rush you are going to bad you buy parts that are not necessarily the, your problem and you are going to spend cash you see and as i said earlier gas prices are so much running so high now so you don't want your car to be running rich at this moment. Find a way to solve it. Yes. So I have a happy car now. So as you can see from the attached picture overlay, my forward trim, long term forward trim is now negative 3.1, which is perfect because you need to be in tens, either plus 10 or negative 10. So if you're having negative 3, that's your engine is running efficient and optimal yes your engine is running efficient and optimal yes so guys this is how you try to solve your car that is running rich idle or 
uh, in all driving condition and as i said earlier don't go around buying parts that is not the reason why your car is running rich make the basic decisions by trying to do certain things yourself just as i use my intuition to remove the air filter delete or reset the fuel trims drive the car around and the car was in a good condition and i know that that was my problem that's fine and one thing that i need to share as i'm here the 2001 that's the 1998 to 2001 toyota Corolla. cola the engineers did a bad job engineers did a bad job if you can see this is the only air outlet that is getting air inside the combustion of the engine that's very bad it's very small it's more or less suffocating they need to do a better job they can do an air intake compartment that will cover all here that will suck air from here and direct it to the engine com compartment but as you can see this is the small outlet let me move it for you to see you see this is the hole that brings air inside the car and send it to the combustion chamber and if you can see this is the only small hole that is bringing air to the car and that's bad so i i've seen some people have get a short ram uh, air cold air intake to give to the car so that they can run better i don't blame them if the fuel trims and the mouth within are uh, within specs that's fine i will not i will not i will not uh, stand against you on that it's better because the car need to get much air to run efficiently yes so guys this is ae ghana this is the content of how an engine run rich at idle and in all conditions you can subscribe to my page you can share the page you can also like my page so that the youtube algorithm can show this video to other people so that they can solve it and be happy without any spending much money to go to the mechanic spending money to go to the auto shop to go and fix this problem you can use your own intuition and this and, and this video and you can solve your rich running engine and i'm available in the comments you can comment you can say anything you can do anything that you, you can share what your car is running and i can help you with a car idea so as i said earlier ae ghana limited have much content coming so like follow share the video and subscribe thank you guys very much and god bless you